what's happening everybody well we finally got decent weather here so we're gonna actually take the el camino out tonight for a cruise we're gonna go down to the southeast part of our area they're having like a car meet slash parade where everybody meets up down there and then they do a parade where they go downtown to uh, i think it's uh veterans park and everybody parks and checks out everything so we decided tonight's a night good beautiful night out so we're gonna head that way and go stretch the legs on the old girl and see uh how the new combination on the trans and the converter works i actually just got uh the lawn chairs all loaded up we're waiting for the missus to, she's in the house getting ready i gotta move the tahoe out of the way and then uh i'm gonna run over to shell and put some ultra 93 or 94 octane in it i already put five gallons of 110 race fuel in here so we should have enough fuel that'll give us about 10 11 gallons to cruise around with and uh we'll go see what happens but i told you guys i'd bring you guys along when we take this thing out and and try everything out so the day's finally here we finally got the weather we got the insurance put back on it we're ready to rock and roll so i'm gonna get things ready to go and we'll bring you guys back when we're on the road
we made it out here to Linwood to my buddy Roy's house with a 70 Challenger and a 71 Drag Challenger. But uh, he's over at a buddy's uh, about 10 minutes away putting a tongue jack on a camper. So he said he'd be about 20 minutes. So we're just going to hang out here. But uh, the old El Camino, man, she cruises down the road with that converter. Nice. Shifts perfect. Nice and firm. And second and in third. But just like I was afraid of, uh, it's got a lean miss at tip in. Uh, lean bog you go to tip in which I knew that uh, could be a possibility when you change converters uh, going tighter versus looser so I'm probably gonna have to up the power valve and uh, do some jetting to make it uh, to make it right but uh, other than that man it cruises down the road good shifts good uh, stayed about 160. It's uh, I think it's 80 something out right now. We cruised up to the let me see it'd be the south east of our area. They have a a big car parade going on tonight. Uh, what's the name of it? Uh, oh, Good Guys Car Show, something like that. But uh, 25 dollars to get in the gate to park and then. Just getting there, the traffic was horrible. Stop, go, stop, go, stop, go. Car did real good. It got up to about 165 with the fans on. I told Jen, I said, hell, we don't need to go on no parade. And they're going all the way from there, back through town. Uh, a lot of construction area. And then downtown, downtown, where they have uh, the summer festival. They have concerts there. Sticks is actually playing this weekend up there. But I told her we didn't need to stick around. We just wanted to get the car out and stretch its legs a little bit. And uh, that's what we did. So we're out here at Roy's. But man, this thing looks killer. We got her all shined up. I added uh, five gallons of 110 race fuel, and then I took it to Shell. And we put uh, six gallons of uh, 93, uh, the Shell, whatever it is, a premium Shell 93. So we're running on pump gas and 110 mix right now. So we are definitely going to have to uh, do some work on the carburetor, of course. Uh, never fails. But I had a car that I did that to before. I took a, um, it was a mild build, something like Tyler's. And I had a, what was it, a 3800 in it. And it was an old used converter. So I swapped it out with a 3000 and it changed everything off the line. I mean, there's, you know, it won't, the, the weight you know the, the rpm versus gear ratio all that so I, I knew it was a possibility that this would happen but it is what it is but we'll get it taken care of they just put stone down roy's road here you know they lay that tar down and uh they put this stone down and uh i mean it's not it's not real loose but man we had to do probably three mile an hour all the way here so we didn't kick up no rocks and yeah i figured while i'm sitting here waiting on Roy to get back i'll show you his uh better halves g body this is all original paint i mean the tires have been changed but real low mileage grand prix Look at the brake pedals and gas pedals. It's a little dirty in here, but how many miles does it say it's got on it? 31,900 and something. They paid like 12 grand for this from a, from a, from a real old couple. It's been sitting in a pole barn. It's got the 305 uh, four barrel quadra jet on it, but you just don't see many grand prix hey brenda what year is this 86. 1986 you don't see the too many of these cruising the roads anymore it's just beautiful she's actually getting ready to go down to our hometown of port huron she said it's dirty don't don't video it but it ain't that dirty ain't got no mud on it 
But the old Grand Prix, you know how they do them stripes like that? Where they put the the multi stripes to go from the whatever burnette or I don't know what color that would what would be. I <laughs> burnette I called it. Uh Brian, nah, a red. A red to silver. There we go. Having a brain fart. We have a very cool G body, man. Low mileage, too. Heck yeah. We're going to try it. Like I said, uh, we're going to get Jenny one. It doesn't have to be in this good a shape, but something to put it like an engine like ties in just to get it uh, so she can get her feet wet and racing, taking it to the track plus cruising. It's even got the factory sunroof in it. Hell yeah, G-Body for the win. Yeah, we just uh, got in the pole barn. The boss just got back doing his job, but figured I'd share with you guys his new paint job on the Plum Crazy 1970 RT Challenger. He finally got it back after well over a year. He got rid of that ghost stripe and put the original RT stripe back on that goes on these cars. Changed the ride height. He bring the ride height up, which I think looks a whole bunch better. What do you think, Roy? Yeah, definitely. But you can see the RT and the, the stripe there. That's how they're supposed to be for this car. Pistol grip four speed. On the stripe on the hood's painted on instead of it ain't a sticker. 446 pack. On 446 cubic inch big block Mopar. The old yellow high beams. Remember them back in the day, guys? Got the original Dodge uh, emblem back on it. All brand new wiring harness, brand new carburetors, brand, carburetors. yeah, that's why I said carburetors, brand new wiring harness under the dash. Now all of his instrument panel works. A little shot of this side. Before nothing really worked, but now that he's got everything, his tack works, gas gauge works, speedometer works. Horn works. Horn works. Dome white works. Dome white works. Remember the most Super B stickers? <laughs> yeah, but it looks good. I definitely liked uh, the change on the ride height. And you guys remember old 71 snot rod here? We're going to get working on it. Ray said he's got to pay off the money from the bank that he borrowed to get this done because Haggerty didn't cover everything they did. But... After he gets it paid off, we'll be starting on this one. You're on the shot. <laughs> Trying to dodge a bullet. No more aluminum heads. Sight. They're painted. You can put everything back to original. Original manifolds. Original valve covers. We had to, he had to have Doug uh, clear the baffles for the roller rockers because the adjusters were hitting. Took the MSD off it, put everything back to stock and original. Wipers, heater, everything. 100%. Distributor. Distributor. That's what I said. It took the MSD out. So, hell yeah. She looks killer. I like the white letters out too. He wasn't a big white letter fan, and I kept asking him why. Because back in the late 80s, mid 80s, he always was. But for some reason on this car, he always put the black walls out. And I think he did, the, did it right by putting them back to white letter out instead of black walls. But we just wanted to give you a quick shot of it. There it is in its glory. Crazy. You, uh, how many miles you got on it? You already drove it back down to Port Huron. Yeah, I drove and, to Port Huron back already. Since he's got it back, so he's yeah. put some miles on it. License plate, plumb crazy. Oh, yeah, guys. Leave in the comments. Big thumbs up for Roy is plumb crazy. And for Snot Rod over in the corner. <laughs> Thank you. 
results a couple days later. I never got a chance to film the ultra when we got home the other night. It was almost dark time we got back from Roy's house. And uh, we had a great time. Uh, we ended up getting about 60, uh, 60 miles put on the car, just out cruising around. We burned through 12 gallons of gas. It actually got pretty decent gas mileage. But as you guys seen in the, the last clip that I did when we were at Roy's house, that uh, we are going to have to do some work to our carburetor. It's got a, a, lean, a lean tip in to where it's getting a lean bog when we go to get into it, which I told you guys in that last clip that uh, I had that experience before when we switched converters out, went to a tighter converter. But it is what it is. I have all the parts to do it. I'm actually going to jump up on the power valve, uh, go up a couple numbers on the power valve, and I'm thinking about taking the, the rear power valve out and going up six jet sizes on the rear and adding two numbers to the front power valve, and we're going to go from there. But other than that, man, this thing ran great going down the road. Um, it cruised with traffic good. Like I said before, it got real decent gas mileage i mean i think we had uh probably 12 gallons to start with and i mean she, when we pulled back in the driveway the other night it was pretty much uh it was pretty much on empty the gas gauge was reading empty but uh man we had a great time we never did uh i think i said in the previous clip we never ended up going get into that uh uh be cool car show slash parade the show was actually yesterday and it rained here all day yesterday on saturday uh, but Friday night was the, the car meet and then the parade. When we never got into the, the car meet or the parade, uh, there was a ton of people there, and then they wanted $25 at the gate. And, you know, we wanted to get out and cruise, so we just decided to go cruise around. That's when we ended up heading out to Roy's. But uh, I wanted to do this video with you guys. We finally got the old girl out. Got thumbs up everywhere we went. I mean, people giving us thumbs up going down the road, so that's awesome. Cars looking great, running great. So, like I said, I am going to do some carburetor work and uh, get that lean stumble out of it. And I'm also going to go through and uh, do my yearly uh, valve uh, or rocker arm adjustments, make sure everything's still good. With this exhaust on it, it seemed like the, you know they were a little louder than usual, but I've had it with open headers for a year, so I don't know if... I just haven't been uh, used to how it sounded before, but uh, I'm just going to pull the valve covers off and run through them, do a cold lash on them. The uh, oil chain is already done, so I got the, when I get the carburetor off, I'll just rip the valve covers off and run through them real quick. It doesn't take long, so we'll be ready for the rest of the season. But anyways, guys, this video is pretty long. I just wanted to uh, bring you along for the ride. And, uh, man, I couldn't be more happy. This thing actually rips. When it gets past that lean spot and starts to take off, I can definitely tell the difference on this converter. It pulls way harder for some reason with that uh, tighter converter in it. Uh, maybe I was over in converter it the whole time. I don't know. But we won't know true actual numbers until we get it to the track, which we are definitely going to be taking it to the track. But uh, as usual, guys, I really appreciate everybody for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and we'll catch you guys on the next video. All right. Bye-bye.